Are you a young driver or the parent of one in need of a new car? Well, keep watching because we've got a list of the 10 best rides for teenage motorists. Welcome to another installment of The Short List, where useful information is shared in manageable little bites, kind of like chicken nuggets made of data. So, what are the best new cars for teens? Well, any recommendations need to be safe, because we all know they're going to be Snapchatting while driving, even though you know better. Affordability is also critical since they ain't gonna make bank stocking shelves at their local supermarket. I mean, I got my big break working at the Shopopotamus. Reliability, efficiency, and smart tech are important too, as is coolness, so anything we recommend can't be a total snooze. With all that out of the way, here are our choices. The Honda Fit is a snap to maneuver, exceptionally efficient, and more versatile than some vehicles twice its size thanks to that hatchback body and second row magic seat. Not with a base price of around $17,000, up to 40 miles per gallon highway, and good crash test scores across the board from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, this car is, well, a no-brainer. Oh, and for extra fun, they can even be had with a six-speed manual gearbox assuming any teens know how to operate three pedals. <laughs> oh, kids these days. Oh. Hmm, now what is it that Toyota does better than practically any other automaker? Hmm. Ah, that's right, they make vehicles that last forever. And with luck, their new Corolla hatchback will provide decades of reliable service with minimal repairs along the way. Versatile, stylish, and economical, with a starting price right around 20 grand, this five-door just about does it all. And with 168 horsepower on tap, its performance isn't too bad either. Another bonus? It's an IIHS top safety pick. Next up, a crossover Nissan Subcompact Kicks. Now, one of this vehicle's main advantages is its bargain basement price, starting off around $19,000. But even though it's exceedingly affordable, nothing about it feels flagrantly chintzy. The interior is reasonably nice, there's plenty of cargo space, and of course the fuel economy is stellar, topping out at 36 mpg highway. Throw in good crash test scores and just 122 horsepower so no one can go too fast, and it's a pretty ideal choice for teenage drivers. Our number seven pick is coming up next, but first, this is a great time to hit that subscribe button on YouTube, and because you're gonna wanna be notified as soon as we upload a new video, hit that little bell icon too. Now, with that out of the way, let's keep moving. If young motorists want something with a little more, a little more visual pizzazz than provided by the kicks, Hyundai's Veloster delivers. This asymmetrical hatchback looks cool, yet is still reasonably practical. Now, three powertrains are offered, including a base 2-liter engine with 147 ponies, though a 1.6 turbo with much more giddy-up is also available, as is a high-performance N model with up to 275 horsepower. Now, we're gonna recommend the base version, which starts at right around 19.5 with a six-speed manual transmission. Now, yes, an automatic is offered for an extra $1,000. The Kia Forte is another excellent choice for young drivers. Not only does this compact sedan look great, it also comes with an upscale interior and starts at right around 18 grand. At that price, you get a standard 8-inch touchscreen, support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, and much more. Forte even earned a Top Safety Pick Plus rating from the IIHS, meaning it should perform well in practically every type of crash. A Mazda product is our next choice on this top 10 list. The MX-5 Miata is an excellent option for teens because it has no back seat. Mm-hmm, no back seat. I think you know what I mean. In all seriousness, our actual recommendation 
is the Mazda CX-3, one of the most stylish and upscale small crossovers available today. Not only does it look and feel far more expensive than anything that starts at less than $22,000 should, it's great to drive and extremely safe. A 2-liter four-cylinder engine provides the motivation, delivering 148 horsepower. Now it's matched to a six-speed automatic gearbox and standard front-wheel drive. Of course, for extra grip, four-corner traction is also on the menu. But one car where all-wheel drive is not available is the Subaru Impreza. And it's not available because it comes standard. But that's not all this small sedan or five-door hatch has going for it. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, thanks to its superior front crash prevention technology, excellent headlights, and all-around structural integrity, this Subaru is a jack of all trades. A 2-liter Boxer 4 provides 152 ponies, while an available continuously variable transmission helps deliver up to 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Of course, Subaru also offers performance-oriented WRX and STI versions of the Impreza, but those are not recommended for teens. Y'all don't need that much speed. Another top choice for young drivers is the Kia Soul, a style-focused hatchback crossover thing. This segment blurring icon has been totally redesigned for the 2020 model year. Not only does it look cool, it's versatile, well-built, and offers loads of technology like standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now, most models of the Soul feature a 147 horsepower 2-liter engine, but you can also get a 1.6-liter turbo with 201 ponies. And no matter what's under the hood, this Kia is an excellent choice for teens. The Volkswagen Golf has always been popular with young motorists, and I think this is because it has a certain cachet thanks to its button-down looks and no-nonsense interior. Starting at around $22,000, this versatile V-Dub gives you a lot for the money, like a 1.4-liter turbocharged engine with 147 horsepower. Now, there's also standard blind spot monitoring and even forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking. But perhaps best of all, the Golf comes with a standard six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Now, it may not be as reliable as a Toyota, but that guarantee is tough to top. But perhaps the best new car for young drivers is, drum roll please, the Honda Civic. This nameplate has a long track record of dependable and economical service, providing transportation to millions of people around the world. It's super safe, starts at around $20,000, sips fuel, drives well, offers loads of tech, and is even available in a wide range of flavors. You can get a sedan, coupe, hatchback, sporty SI, and even ultra-high-performance Type R versions of the Civic, meaning there's something for practically everyone, even teens. And that'll do it for this episode of The Shortlist. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. It really helps our YouTube audience retention score. In fact, if you want to keep this video on loop while doing your housework, that'd be really neat. Could you do that, please? Now, you might be wondering why we didn't include any American vehicles here. Well, when it comes to safe, reliable small cars, the Detroit 3 unfortunately tend to come up short. I mean, FCA is basically out of the game, Ford's Fiesta and Focus have been disastrously problematic of late, and the Chevy Cruze is dead, plus how long will GM keep the Sonic and Spark around? Many of these automakers' small crossover offerings aren't particularly compelling either, so they were excluded as well. Yeah, you know, a New York auto show just came to an end. You gotta check out our winners and losers video. It's up on the YouTube. Give it a view. Give it a watch-a-roo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube car winners and losers. <laughs>